नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी वन विच सेज एट दोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन एडिक्शन वेन ऑल द लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ड डेडिकेशन आर अरेज इज नाउ इन डेडिकेशन वी हैव द लेटर्स एज डी डी आई आई E C A T O N, right? And here we can see we have nine letters, and in the word dedication we have ten letters. That is, we have one extra letter that is E. Now, to form the word addiction, we can either form E addiction, or we can form another word. that is addiction e in both these permutations we have the formation addiction right so we have two ways in which the formation addiction can occur so the probability will be equal to number of elements in event e that is 2 upon number of events in sample space right now letters of the word dedication can be arranged in how many ways 10 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial because we have two repeating letters d and two repeating letters i so this is equal to 2 factorial whole cube upon 10 factorial that is the correct answer will be option number 3 next is question number 82 which says that the domain of the function fx equal to log to the base mod of sin x 1 minus cos square x is now we know that for log to the base a b to be defined a should be greater than 0 a should not be equal to 1 and b should be greater than 0 so applying the same here in the given question we can write it as mod sin x should be greater than 0 mod sin x should not be equal to 1 and 1 minus cos square x should be greater than 0 these three are the in equations that we have to solve so after solving these three we have to take intersection of the solution now this says that sin x should not be equal to plus minus 1 this says that sin x should not be equal to 0 because mod of sin x is always greater than equal to 0 and 1 minus cos square x can be written as sin square x greater than 0 which again says that sin x should not be equal to 0 so in whole what we get we get that sin x should not be equal to 0 1 and minus 1 so from here we can say that x will belong to r minus n pi by 2 where n belongs to integer right so the correct answer will be option number 3 next is question number 83 which says that if 32 sin theta cos 5 theta plus 2 sin square theta Plus six sine theta cos theta is equal to one plus thirty two sine theta cos cube theta, where theta belongs from zero to pi. Then the sum of the solutions of the equation is. Now here we have thirty two sine theta. Here also we have thirty two sine theta. Let us take thirty two sine theta into cos cube theta common. So inside we are left with cos square theta minus one plus six. Sin theta cos theta is equal to taking two sine square theta on the right side. We will get one minus two sine square theta. Now, further, it can be written as thirty-two sine theta cos cube theta into cos square theta minus one can be written as minus of sine square theta. That is sine cube theta plus three into this can be written as sine two theta is equal to one minus two sine square theta. We will write it as Cos two theta. Further, it can be written as minus four into sine two theta whole cube plus three sine two theta is equal to cos two theta. Now, on the left hand side, we can see that it is forming the formula of sine six theta, right? Because we know that sine three theta is equal to three into sine theta minus four sine cube theta, right? So this is equal to cos two theta. That is Cos of pi by two minus six theta is equal to cos two theta. Now its solution can be written as two theta is equal to two n pi plus minus pi by two minus six theta. Taking positive sign, we will get eight theta equal to two n pi plus pi by two. That is four n plus one into pi. 
also taking negative sign we will get 4 theta plus 2n pi minus pi by 2 is equal to 0 that is 4 theta is equal to 2m pi plus pi by 2 that is 4m plus 1 into pi by 2 I have written n equal to minus n right so from here we can see that the values of theta when theta is going from 0 to pi will be equal to putting n equal to 0 we will get pi upon 16 putting n equal to 1 we will get 5 pi upon 16 putting n equal to 2 we will get 9 pi upon 16 putting n equal to 3 we will get 13 pi upon 16 so from here theta will be equal to putting m equal to 1 we will have pi by 8 putting m equal to 1 we have 5 pi upon 8 putting m equal to 2 we will have 9 pi upon 8 that is greater than pi so these are the six solutions that we get from here hence we have to find the sum of the solutions of the equation so sum will be equal to taking pi by 16 common we will get 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 2 plus 10 that is equal to pi by 16 into 40 that is equal to 5 pi upon 2 that is the correct answer will be option number 2. Next is question number 84 which says that limit x tending to infinity x square minus 3 upon x square plus 4 whole raised to the power cosecant square 1 by x is equal to. Now here if I put 1 by x equal to t. So what will we get? Limit of t tending to 0 1 upon t square minus 3 upon 1 upon t square plus 4 whole raised to the power cosecant square t. Now this is equal to limit t tending to 0 1 minus 3 t square upon 1 plus 4 t square whole raised to the power cosecant square t. Now here it can be observed that if t is tending to 0 then it is 1 raised to the power infinity form. So this can be written equal to e raised to the power limit t tending to 0 cosecant square t into 1 minus 3 t square upon 1 plus 4 t square minus 1 that will give me in the denominator 1 plus 4 t square and in the numerator minus 7 t square that can further be written equal to e raised to the power limit t tending to 0 minus 7 into t square upon sin square t and also in the denominator we have 1 plus 4 t square. Now as t is tending to 0 so this term will tend to 1 and this term will also tend to 1. So directly the limit can be equal to e raised to the power minus 7. That is correct answer is option number 3. Next is question number 85 which says that the total number of ways of selecting 3 distinct numbers forming an AP from the set 1 to 3 up till 18 is. Now for 3 numbers let us say x, y, z to be in AP, 2y should be equal to x plus z. Now as the number written on the left hand side is E1, right? So this should also be even. That is we have to choose either x and z both E1 or we have to choose x and z both odd, right? These are the only two possibilities. Now from the given set, if I choose any two even numbers, that is we have 9 even numbers. So in 9c two ways if I choose any two numbers then according to the values of x and z we will get the value of y. Similarly if I take any two odd numbers from the given set that is again 9c2 then also y ki aisi value maare paas a jayegi apne aap jisse ki x, y, z will form an AP. So the total number of ways will be equal to 9c2 plus 9c2 that will be equal to 9 into 8 that is equal to 72 so the correct answer is option number 3.